so because we deal with so many historic properties, I thought it'd be great to talk about tips for finding one and what's important and the way it's different finding a historic home versus just any home that was built in a year or did not have that significance. One, the historic homes are older, so things like inspections become really important in finding someone to inspect it who's familiar with older properties. That's important too because there are different issues that come up. You want to be able to research whether you have tax incentives because a lot of historic homes, especially if it's a landmark property, the county will give you tax incentives where you pay up to 50% less based on the value. You want to check and see what's appropriate and what you can do and what you can't do. With historic homes, if they're registered or they're in a neighborhood that is, there are things that you would never be able to do, like put vinyl siding on a home or put a replacement window. And sometimes the maintenance and the upgrades for a historic home are a little more expensive because of that. So you just want to take all that into account when you're looking. It's a very gratifying thing to have a home like that that tells a story, but you want to understand what you're doing before you do it because it does change things a little bit, but I feel like it's definitely worth it and we have so many beautiful ones here in Greensboro. If you're interested in historic homes, please reach out to me. I would love to help you navigate that process.